Hello, everybody. I'm here to proudly bring to you an incredible adventure by Naughty Dog about a man who must journey to far-off places to obtain rare artifacts. Jack and Daxter fight! What? This does not look the least bit like Jack and Daxter. Oh, wait, what is this? No, we... are not doing a Jack... Today... We're not doing Jack and... Oh, gosh, dang it. What's wrong? We're not doing Jack and Daxter. Oh, sorry. Dang. <laughs> yes, man. Instead, instead, we are doing... Rule... Actually, you know what? No, you finish what you're going to say. That was it. I'm just saying I'm, I'm bummed. <laughs> welcome to Uncharted welcome. Dreams Misfortune, ladies and gentlemen. The first game in the trilogy that we are going to try to get through as best as we can because this was this was another this was kind of a big step for Naughty Dog. They had up until now done been most famous for Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter, Jack Two, and especially Jack Three started cementing more of a mature thing for them, and especially between Jack Two and Jack Three, more cementing a story-based like character narrative yeah a more cinematic character driven narrative and uncharted was pretty much where they wanted to like that's they wanted to make their big leap onto the ps3 with a yep. fully like more adult so, mature like journey so in the end they decided to make rule 63 tomb raider pretty, pretty much. much yep pretty much and the sad thing is they never looked back so let us learn about our new adventure I can't believe that hill. Must be a beginning of any great matter. He's he's a good idea to be a cantilly under the hill. Sir Francis Drake. He's trying to narrate you, insensitive dick. Sir Francis Drake was a. Oh, dang, if only this was Abzu. So, Sir Francis Drake was a world ex world renowned explorer, I think? Oh, yes. let's get the subtitles. I'm here on the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be just the coffin of the legendary Francis Drake explorer, Sir Francis Drake, who is Drake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. This is, this is said in our real world. Ago. And there's his great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandson. Yes. Supposedly. <sighs> his great-great-great-great-great-great-grandson, <laughs> Nolan North. Besides, Playing Nolan North. Me. Well, I did do my Actually, research, it's scary. We've talked about this. Francis if they Drake make an Uncharted movie, movie, they may as well have Nolan North play uh, Nathan. Wrong, you know. Yeah, if not him, if not him or Nathan Philly. And... <laughs> I can't defile an empty coffin. Oh, what? <gasps> what? Dun dun dun! Oh, Big shock. It's empty. Well, there's but more things it? in it like that. One latch. Oh, it's just a rusty old book. Dear Diary. <laughs> <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no. every single Wait, thing what's that up? you... Hold that thought. Yes. For a moment, Sorry. you think he pull a fast uh, one. We got some trouble. Mm. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. Bruce What's Campbell, we got trouble. Uh, pirates. 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 In this day and age, yeah. who the funk? The modern kind. Oh, the modern don't kind. Prisoners. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Wait, what are you talking about? You know, the ones that about? don't go yahar yahar. Oh, he's got a key. Or those that have straight up. Uh, um, armed ships. Oh, that'd be a great idea, but we don't. Or those have that are helped by the predator to fend off a mutinous yeah, crew. So unless you want to end up in a That's a that true jail. story. We Look it up. This ourselves. But, well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. <laughs> use one of these. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You Not just... really. Point and shoot, right? Well, don't point at me, sister. Here we and go. Point at yep, yourself. you know, just That's a normal day. Counterintuitive. Oh, by the way, her uh, her ski, yeah, her ski uh, diving suit company, Otzel. Nice. There's the last. There's one of the last references we'll get. Okay, so so this game works under very short chapters. It's like a Dan Green book. You feel smart while you read it. So yeah, if you, yeah. If you, wait, if you, wait. No, it is Dan Green, right? He's the guy, or is it? Am I thinking of Dave Green, the the author of the Da Vinci Code? Bye. That's not Dan Green. That's Dan Green. Let me look it up. No, no. Dan Green is somebody else. Of course, he's me. I'm, so Yugi. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I mix it up. Wrong color. His name is Dan Brown. <laughs> there you go. I got. I got. I got my hues mixed up. Oh, hello there. Oh, so it's. Oh, hello. <laughs> no dirt. <derp. laughs> oh, I like how that guy is just like. Well, I'll take that. And that. So, 
So this is the so this is the majority of the combat in this game. It's uh, over the top third person uh, oh, action roll, and I can I have some grenades that I will always forget to use because I almost never get him. Oh. And it's a cover. And it really relies a lot of cover based shooting with some combat, in which this does actually remind me a lot of the. Oh jeez, the Square Enix reboot of Tomb Raider totally copied a lot of this. Yeah, yep. you don't. Well, again, here's the thing. This series copied Tomb Raider, which all right. So. Tomb Raider copied Indiana Jones, which this series copied Tomb Raider, and then the remake of Tomb Raider copied so this series. It's nothing sacred anymore. You know, that no. kind of reminds me of that kind of reminds me of the thing with Banjo Kazooie, where it's like Banjo Kazooie stole from go. Super Mario 64, and Odyssey in turn stole from Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. What so a vicious I'm cycle we live in. So I'm gonna try my best to kind of aim properly and use good guns, but uh, oh, jeez. But, oh, geez, they're destroying the whole thing with that grenade oh, launcher. Oh, man. Rocket launcher. But, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say rocket launcher, lady? Rocky launcher. <laughs> oh, geez, they're taking it all down. I thought it was oh, a plane. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. Do you, think there, do you think there's ever a game out there that's actually used a rocket launcher? If anyone would have done it, it would have been Borderlands. By yeah, now. You know, they, they, or... have, they have walking guns now. Oh, Lord. I was about to say, nice. if, if not Borderlands, then given oh. time, someone in the indie, indie industry is going to make it. We uh, should my leave. My foot was on fire. Oh, wait. What? What? Oh, the camera. Don't forget the camera. It's all about, the sh it's all about show business. All the film is going to be damaged now. I broke a nail. Hmm. So, meet the other colorful member of our... Uh, adventurous duo. I'm one of the best. <laughs> hey, Sully. I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? I this guy is basically <laughs> Bruce Campbell. He's right. just Bruce Campbell. None being Bruce Campbell. Won't it's not actually Sorry, Bruce Campbell wonder. playing him, well, but it should be Bruce Campbell. Talented, Sorry I'm late, fellas. I just got back from narrating an adventure about a young yeah, mouse. What was his name again? Uh, Mickey guy. Cohen? Uh, Mike, uh, Mike, Mike, uh, uh, Mikey, Mikey Wallace? Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. Anyway, like, you make all the Bruce Campbell parallels. It makes me wonder why they didn't just get Bruce Campbell to voice him. Probably money. Yeah, because this guy's pretty. This guy's pretty fun too. I like his. Oh yeah, I, I like this guy's performance. Yeah, no, he he is well, a really good actor. Shit, what's his name? Present from Sir Francis. Um. Well, first off, uh, like I wasn't saying that to like decry him. He is a good actor. I was just wondering like why not. And second off, the guy's name is Richard McGongle. Thank you. Yes. Just like I said, Sully. He, he must have been onto something he big. Is, yeah, yeah he is well, fantastic. let's just keep that between us. Mm -hmm. Also, for the loan, Mr. Drake. also, we'll say that, especially from a jump up from Jack really Three and Jack X or whatever, like they definitely nailed the, like realistic, like they they don't look uncanny. I don't think these characters. Yeah, no, models. and they and even though this is technically the HD version, it so still what, is pretty Drake close to how it looked on the PS3, and this is early oh. PS3. Oh yeah, no, for his, oh. for his time it looked great. Right. And I don't know if it started here or if it started with Jack and Daxter, but this is, I think, where they started their new method of cutscene uh, filming, which I love the idea of, where they had all the voice actors actually around a table, like right now, with mocap suits on and stuff, and so the actors actually had to, like, legitimately act and, like, play off of each other and not just be in a booth. No, they, they and had the that for a long time, but, uh, but in the climax. Uh, definitely Naughty Dog has... Never had any Naughty Dog and a okay, bunch then. of jump to the good Capcom part, projects, especially Devil May Cry, have definitely mm -hmm. utilized that to its fullest. Oh, El Dorado. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was Gold. onto something. Dead. Hey, language, Sully. What do you think else? this is? A oh, T-rated so game? Oh, wait. Huh? Also, yeah. fun well, fact. If we're looking no. at canon, this is the second time... Drake is looking for El Dorado. I'm telling you, Sully. No joke. This is it. Well, mm -hmm. the first. This is finally uh, it. In yeah. the prequel, Uncharted, uh, was it Drake's Fortune, I think? Yes, that's what I said. This is Drake's Fortune. Or not Drake's Fortune, Wait, you're, sorry. You're talking about the PSP game, yes. though, right? Dra oh, that's why we have insurance, Oh, you mean the Vita right? game? Boom yeah. this? Yes, thank you. Yeah, no, in that one, he's he's also oh, looking no, for, camera, I think it's El Dorado no, as well, but or it's a place just close to El Dorado. South American gold-based city. You go on out there and you tell meanwhile, we just found meanwhile the they're all arguing because Sully doesn't want more people cutting on the action. Do you trust me? More or less. 
Good. I mean, to be fair, you did try to once sell me out to your girlfriend, so we cut her loose right now. That becomes relevant You're in the third real game. Sully. Anywho, so we'll see that later. It stinks. Also, I do like. She'll get over it. Also, I do like this part here, how they like kind of calmly I mean, play it cool. You know, no. Nope. Like yep. The biggest story. She just wants to get a big break. Hey, don't mind us. Don't mind us. We're just about to uh, leave you for dead. That's why we need to move fast. Look, she uh, thinks that wait, she's wait, playing them cool. Look, hey, don't mind me. Whee! Look, I don't trust them, especially especially that Nate guy. It's not like we're going to get married and have a child. Should have seen that one coming. Yes, yeah, spoilers, Matt. Hey, She's the love interest. Is that, is that really spoilers for like a? It's not a spoiler, game? and I mean they're clearly building her up to be that. Anyway, what's up, Jason? I mean, to be fair, doesn't love come in the, in the most weirdest ways? Yeah, usually on the sure job. Usually, I when mean, there's a gun I mean, to be, fair, to be fair, look at Sly Carmelita. You weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? Actually, what is it with the main character also always being kind of like a thief or a fugitive, and the love interest always being in the right more or less? It's a con. It's a, it's a contrasting situation. It's that weird fantasy that things like Twilight and freaking uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, like it's that whole thing of it's that whole thing of like women like a dangerous man kind of thing. I guess I don't know. So, so uh, look. Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say. To be fair, that. That trope isn't always gender exclusive. Sometimes you can see it like swapped in certain media. Right. Batman. Uh, yeah, that's like the most obvious one. But um, anyway, Logan, why can't you tell us about this HD conversion? Well, uh, the biggest one that was originally, I had to pause there for a second to adjust my camera settings. Uh, well, the biggest one that was a discouragement to you, if I recall, I don't know if they fin fully finished patching it out. Was I don't that think they, I don't think they have, and I don't think they ever will. Was that there was actually a memory leak? which could lead if I wasn't careful enough. I mean, granted, I'm pretty sure in playtesting, it's not too bad. Like, I don't think it'd be a problem unless, say, I left the game on for hours and hours on end. But there is some sort of memory leak that if I wasn't careful, I could actually, like, use up all the space in my PS4 with it trying to keep track of a save file. Right, and it ends up just... It, it pretty much just demolishes the entire save file. Like, you have to do everything all over again from scratch. And which sucks. is why, yeah. which is why I, I made sure to record this, this right as quickly and in a nice, good, continuous Ready session. Now, is it right. only for the one game, or is that bug in all three games? I'll look that up right now. But meanwhile, just know that uh, controls-wise, it's pretty simple. Square is for melee. L two lets me aim. R two fires. I think triangles for most interacting and picking up ammo. Let's be you can fair. Carry up let's to be fair here, though. How often are you actually going to rely on melee combat in this game? Not really. No, they definitely want you to use the gun play, which. Which is cool and all, except one thing I will give Tomb Raider over this is that Tomb Raider had more pockets. This guy can only carry up to two weapons. Like yep. Period. Also, here's bra. one interesting thing that I hate. For the first two games, the melee combat is fucking god awful. Well, of it, course. <laughs> it is actually, like, I actively make sure not to do it. The third game, however, you have to do melee at times, but it is it they, it does is? flow Thank and work yeah, much better. Than well, you know, at the end of the day, so long as it's not required, it, like so long as the shady combat isn't entirely, isn't exactly required for the first two state, two first two games. I mean, I can give that sort of a pass so long as they give you just enough resources to work with. Yeah, yeah. Would you say that's the case, Logan? Oh, sorry. What about what? I was looking up the safe file thing. Go ahead. Do they give you enough? Do they ah. give you enough we enough um, weapon ammo and whatnot to uh, let you last? Well, you don't have to worry about the melee combat too often. Uh, yes. If not enough, if not enough ammunition, know that you can at any time... Whee! Uh, there's the jump. <laughs> the jump. The jumping in this game requires a little bit of finesse. You have to... Uh, there's a little bit of a recoil, so you have to kind of, like, press the X button a little bit before an edge to, like, finish the line. Jump. There we go. I'll get the hang of it again. But anyway, up, up on the D-pad shows points of interest. It focuses the camera on things. Hey, Sully. What you find, Sully? What is it, Just boy? a bunch of devil named grass. Po point of interest. Probably there's grass Wait, everywhere. Point, uh, of in point of interest. Sully's ass. Damn it! I think I got. I think I. I think I got some dung in my shoe. Eh. So I need to knock that down. Go. Uh. Again. Okay, that's not gonna. They'll work. teach that rock. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We gotta go over the hard way. There, this game also. Whoop, whoop, the game also plays a lot with uh, platforming puzzles. Yeah. Do -do. 
Do, so do, I hope you like those yeah. from Jack. Actually, actually, here's the thing. This game has a lot of platform pu puzzles, not as many as the second game. Which, I when we get to it, second game is my favorite. Well, I look forward to doing that. I'm not going to get to that anytime soon until we do some other projects, but I do intend to do this whole trilogy at some point. I mean, they're, they're all, they're, they're, all the games are pretty short from what I remember, so I don't think it would take, take much doing you know, to do them. You know, God forbid uh, that Sully was still standing right there when you were pushing that boulder. No. Oh, man. Oh, was a, so now Sully's great. I, yeah, Sully's great. I, li I also, in all the dialogue, I also just like the interactions and the fun, like, banter these two have. Oh, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, oh. oh, boy. Yes. Hmm, I wonder, right. if, wonder if I take care of the parents, I can get some insta, well, insta fruit. No. Oh, damn it. Isn't there, like, well, is hey, there, like, some hey, company. I know, Isn't but there a game that, Yeah, let's say, is there a game where if you shoot a parrot, it, like, does something weird or something? Uh, uh something. I don't know. Like, it doesn't yeah. sound familiar. You know what, I may, you know what, I think I'm, I'm completely confused. I think I'm thinking of, uh, Max Payne, where if you shoot the rats or if you throw a grenade into a rat's hole, all the rats come out wielding little pistols. Oh, God. I'm not even kidding. That's that happens. Hilarious. And you have to shoot the rats before they shoot you. Check this out. Aha. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. Well, damn that Spanish Inquisition. I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. Oh. That's why he's trying to really get okay, these working. Solely, look here. Throughout this entire franchise, you you're always in debt, Lima, no matter what happens. <laughs> that and, well, just a few. Yeah, I get the feeling he's not really good with yeah, finances. Well, I, well, I mean, that's, I mean, I mean, I don't care. I mean, that's his main motivation for yeah. being involved in all these kooky, like, heists. What's that supposed then to And also, he's friends with the Ray, reporter? so. I saw the well, that's my thing, it. that, like, considering... All the treasure that they found throughout all the games, like all through those four games, he's still in debt. Really makes you wonder exactly how sloppy he is with funds. In fact, no joke, I think even to the point he's so much in debt that even when we get to the get to the uh, daughter of Drake and Elena, he's still in debt. Bear in mind. <clears throat> bear in mind. Oh look. Look who left a shiny red barrel across this gap. Ah, uh, thank you, Spanish. My Wait, what? Uh, you... I'll thank you all later. How? Oh, look, I made a bridge. Why? Oh, that was close. Because hey, look, platforming a... puzzle. Hey, look, I made a bridge. It took me like... Well, it took like what? Ten seconds. You know, the more I you think about what? it, I think I think I know why Sully's in all that debt. He keeps buying huh. all the money on money money for cigars. Oh, I thought I could climb. Yeah, these. you know. Oh, okay, I see this. Yeah, chain. <laughs> that's one thing about him. He is the biggest chain smoker in this series, and he I mean, loves his... Yeah, you can still pull off that suave voice. He I mean, there is one other... Oh, there we go. I mean, there is one other thing, is that, um... Okay, I'm just gonna pull this up, and then we can go right on through. Anyway, I wanna ask Shoot. real quick, like, oh, making... Do I was okay. gonna ask real quick, making that Atlantis reference, do you think Richard Bagongo would make a pretty good Venny? I could see it. Venny? I genuinely, I, yeah, I genuinely could see it. If you give him some of the lines, I could see it. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I'm gonna push this to hold the yeah, door. Yeah, Vinny, that's the guy we were just <clears throat> quoting, James, the explosives expert. I'm gonna do oh, paper clips. Yeah, I'm a, I, yeah, no, I gotta do right, paper clips. and uh, paper clips. Big words. You know, just office supplies. I wanna make it quick. Anyway. Oh, oh boy. Hey, we're stuck here now. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, we're not going back. You trapped yourselves. We're gonna suffocate. This place has a back door. So of course the next, of course the first, of course, Matt, the next thing we should do after trapping ourselves in an enclosed space, we're gonna start a fire. Mm. In yes. the enclosed space. Yes. Sure. Burn all the oxygen you have. Here it is. The journal like is isn't in. I would. I like to think the journal isn't. See if you almost, can it. It's not entirely required. It's more of like a hint system. Now, sometimes it, it definitely is a hint system. However, in subsequent games, you definitely do have to use it, especially in two. Which, by the way, okay. Even though there are ah. a lot of things that I say that makes two sound horrible it actually is the best like they use I, oh. the they use the system and refine it mm -hmm. got to knock it a bit got anyway i just I, like i know that i made the joke before but i would just love at one point when he's there reading through the nice. journal he just stumbles across a page that says stuff like dear diary i don't think jessica knows about my feelings for her yet <laughs> it's like, well, oh. you know it's a good thing the fire just made it that quickly yeah is nobody here but, going to do a british accent for sir francis drake you know, nope, who was a British so... explorer. Oh, I thought he was French. I'm pretty sure he was British. 
No, his name is Sir Francis because it's Francis. <laughs> well, that well, isn't that presumptuous I of you? I fucking hate you. <laughs> On that note, ladies Join and gentlemen, us. stay tuned for the next part where we hopefully get out of this tomb alive and with the treasure in tow. Yep, that's the idea. I hate yeah, it. bye. I hate everybody.